This is the intro riff to In It Together. Okay, so to do this you'll need one guitar, and that's about it really. Uh, but you'll need to tune that guitar to E flat standard. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, there's plenty of stuff online telling you about the different tunings, but basically it's the standard tuning E, A, D, G, B, E. Every string is turned down half a string, uh, half, a, half a tone, so it will become E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, etc. Okay, so we'll split this riff into three parts, the first part being this. Okay, now basically what we're doing here is switching from a D to an A rhythm. The first half we'll be pedalling the D string whilst alternating a rhythm on the two strings below it. So if we get our Fingers ready for that part, we'll have the 2nd finger 7th fret G string, ring finger 7th fret B string and we also put the 1st finger on the B string on the 5th fret, ready to pull off the ring finger so we get that kind of thing going on. Uh, I'll play it slowly so you can see what's going on. So the first, the first very, very first uh, chord is. And then we pedal on the D string and then hit the. Afterwards. Uh, it'd be easier to just listen, know where the fingers need to be, and listen to the rhythm. I'm basically playing the, the three strings each time I hit, hit a note. So. And the second half of that is. So it's a similar kind of thing, but we're hammering on the pinky and we're pedaling on the A string this time. So the shape is ring finger 7th fret uh, D string, uh, middle finger 6th fret G string, first finger 5th fret B string. We get that. It's kind of like being inside, it's like the middle three notes of an A bar chord. And this time we'll be hammering the pinky on to the seventh fret on the B string. And all the while pedaling that A string. So if we piece the two together. Okay, so that whole first section again. Okay, so the second half of that lick is this. Right, so the only two strings we're going to be playing on this is the D and the G string. Uh, the first shape is ring finger, ninth fret, D string, first finger, seventh fret on the G string. And we play that twice. So it's. Then the second part is. So it's the ninth fret on both the D and the G string. I tend to. You can either do it with your pinky or. I can't remember which one I do, but uh, I think I'm, I. I use the pinky. Okay, so. same shape on the 7th fret, so so again barring the 7th fret and the, yeah 7th fret on the D and the G string, then it's one note on the D string on the 9th fret, back to the 7th fret uh, and we hammer on on the 9th fret on the G string so it's so you follow that then 
finish that section off. So that's 7th fret on the G string, 9th fret on the G string, and we slide that up to the 11th fret on the G string also. Then so that's that very last part is the seventh fret on the G string and we fell with the ninth fret on the D string. So that whole section together is this. End of section two. Okay, so the final section is this. So this is following the same, roughly the same rhythm for the most of it, and it's uh, like an arpeggio on from the B to the G to the D string. And all that changes is the shape of the chord that we're playing. So the first chord is, again, it's a bar of a G chord. So it's a 12th fret, D string, 12th fret, G string, 12th fret, D string. And I play them quite palm muted, quite. Then the second chord is. 10th fret, B string, 11th fret, G string, 12th fret again, D string. I tend not to move my hands as much, try to keep that, that kind of uh, rocking action going. The third chord is, it's part of a C, so it's uh, 11, uh, 13th fret on the B string, 12th fret on the G string, and 14th fret on the D string. And then back to the first chord that we did, which is the bar chord of a G. So that's 12th, 13th, 12th fret on the B, G, and D string. Change it slightly here. For the first part, we're doing the three knot rundown again from the B, G, D string in that shape 10th fret, 11th fret, 12th fret. Then this next chord is where that changes slightly. So, so rather than starting on the B string, we start on the D string, then go to the B string, and then to the G string. So, so that shape there is 10th fret on the B string, 9th fret on the G string and 11th fret on the D string. So those two together. So the first half of that would go in B, G, D and the second half of this would go in D, B, G string. Final. Uh, Two chords of this section is this, which anyone who's ever learned all right now by free, it's basically that. But rather than doing it here, we're doing it on the seventh fret. So if we bar the seventh fret on the D, G, and B string with your first finger, and then hammer on the second finger, eighth fret B string, and the ring finger on the 9th fret on the D string and then off again so and you can either finish on that or it's the same thing so we'll do that whole section at the end